and we just come before you right now. Touch everyone, touch those who are not able to make it. And Father, we just lift up families and friends, touch those who are laboring. Lord, that you continue to bless those who are laboring. And Lord, we cry out to you right now, touch the prayers on the altar. And so we just lift that up right now before you. And Lord, as we go into this truth, Lord, let it be you that bring it out. Yes. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, just be quiet. No. No, no. You sit. Sit over there. Behave. You know how to behave yourself. sin just for a season. The kingdom of sin just kingdom. for a season. That means this kingdom world, right? Sin. For a, uh, kingdom of sin for a season. Kingdom of sin just for a season. Oh, just for a season. Just for a season. Yeah, the kingdom of sin just for a season. Yeah. Kingdom of sin just for a season. Right? Yeah. Okay. And we go to Hebrews 11 and verses 23, 24, all the way to 26. Hebrews yeah, Hebrews 11. 23 to 20, 26? Yeah. Hebrews 11, 23 to 26? Yeah. So we see all this right now. Just like Moses, I'll just give you a key. Moses uh, did not uh, choose to be uh, the call of the the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Right. Right. Because he could have been prince, right? Yes. But he chose to be in a, choose to be with the people of God, which is Israel, mm -hmm. to be to suffer affliction just yep. for a season. Right? Yeah. Because he knew that the Most High was going to bring destruction right. on Egypt. Sure is. Same thing today. Yep. Same thing. Yep, you're right, Paul. Yep, that's Paul, yes. So yes. give you a little key. Right there. So Hebrews 11, Hebrews 11, start from 23, all the way to 26, 24, 25, 26. You get the content, table of content? You don't see Hebrew? Oh, you got another name, Bob. Paul, you got the name put in the cipher? Yeah, let's see. Oh, not the Hebrew. It's Hebrew, but there's another name to it. You got it. You got the real Hebrew name. You got the Greek name. Oh, I see it now. Okay. It says Hebrew. Right. right. That's seventeen. Okay, to pay seventeen okay. something. Okay. It say Hebrews. It's yeah, a dash. It. Yeah, dash. It say well, it starts with a I. Right. And it's I V R I Y. Yeah, that's that's Hebrew. Yeah. 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 When you see Hebrew, they, 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 that, that's Greek, or it's it, Greek. Uh, Is it the 22 to the 26? Uh, uh, 23 to 26. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Hebrew, chapter 11, verse 23. 
by faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child. And they were not afraid of the king commandments. 24. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of the Pharaoh's daughter. 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of Elohim than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. 26. Esteeming the approach of Christ greater riches than the treasure in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. See? So that's very powerful. It is. Especially that verse 25, mm -hmm. when he said, choosing rather to suffer affliction yeah. with the people of God oh, yeah. than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Yeah, that is powerful. So that, like you, just just picture it now. Yeah. Because if you are involved in entertaining your uh, your slave masters, mm -hmm. you enjoy the, the pleasures of sin. Sure is. Wow. Yeah. You're not doing like Moses. That's right. Moses, he refused it. Sure did. Mm -hmm. And chose to suffer affliction with the people of God. Yep. Right. Yep. He could have been a prince. That's right. Yeah, that's yep. like me. You could, I could have been a, uh, uh, what you call it, a rap star. Yep. And join the 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 sins of of this world of this world, oh, being yeah. a famous rap star. Yep. I didn't want to do that though, but uh, yeah, but that's, yeah. yep, that's an option right there. Yep. And but I choose to go with the Most High. Yes. Because you know this is about to be destroyed. It sure is. Right. Yep. Just give you a picture of what what you see. That's what's coming. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, yeah. Right? Yep. And let's go to uh, Luke. I have Luke chapter fourteen, verses twenty three, not twenty three, but twenty twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. Okay. Luke eleven. I mean Luke fourteen. Fourteen. Start with twenty eight. Twenty nine. Okay. All the way to 33. Okay. Because you can see that this pretty much, it ties with that pretty much. Oh, yeah. Because he said sin only lasts a season. Yeah, just a last, yes. Meaning this kingdom. Right. Because just like we look at Egypt, it got destroyed. Sure did. Right? Yes, it did. The most high brought them down. Sure did. Right? Yes, he did. And most high getting ready to do it again. Yes, he is. I know some people may not like that. No, they well, won't like it. Well, you know, they're trying to save. Yeah, trying to you save. You know, it's... and they try to pray yep. to the most high. <laughs> yeah, to pray. Oh, Lord, please save America. <laughs> please <laughs> save these. Yeah, that's y'all saying that. I guess y'all haven't read the Bible. No, they ain't read no Bible. You haven't read the Bible. God said it's going to be destruction. Sure is. He said destruction's coming. Sure is. Because why? The most high is not going to share. The most high in Christ is not going to share his throne with the, right. with the other. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. Y yes. Especially sin. <laughs> yeah, especially sin. Yeah, you're doing that. Yeah, yeah, it has to be destroyed. It has to be destroyed, but because if you look at it, it's so much evil. It sure is. It's so much wickedness. Yeah, yeah, it is. Pure wicked, yeah. People want to be gay. Mm -hmm. uh, people just want to be anything that yeah. is, is, is wickedness. Yeah, and don't want to keep the law. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Pure cool. Sure is. And it's, there's no fear. And people say, you can do anything. Do anything that, that makes you feel good. Well, that's bad, see? That's, real bad. that's yeah. pretty much what they're saying. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do what makes you feel good. That's, that's not good. <laughs> that's not it's good. almost like that uh, Oscar Crowley, do what they wit. Ooh. Oh. Where they had that on the, you know, because he's a, they yeah. a Satanist. Oh, that oh, God. And they, and they said, do what they wit. Oh, that's not good. Wow. Wow. Right? Oh, that's bad. Like Satan. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. That's Luke, not good. Yeah. Luke, chapter 14, verse 28. For which of you, attending to build a tower, sit down first and count the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it? 29. Let's happily, after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that, behold, it began to mock him. 30. Saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Uh, 31. 
or what king going to war against another king sitting down first and consult whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that had that coming against him with 20,000, 32, or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sent an ambassador, ambassador and desired condition of peace. 33, so likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaken not all that he had, he cannot be my disciple. See? And so Christ lays it down. Because mm -hmm. if you look at Moses, right? Yeah. He didn't turn back, did he? No, he didn't. Because he said, he didn't turn back and said, well, I can't, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go back, go back to Egypt and just be a prince. Oh, no, he didn't. Right? Right. And so you count up the cost. That means that you got to look at everything before you say, well, I'm going to be in this thing. Right. Because some people that they may come in the, and say, well, I'm going to come to the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And it's like they in the class work. Mm -hmm. It's like they taking notes real good. Yeah. It's like they grow, getting more and mm -hmm. more. And then all of a sudden, something hit. Yep. Some, yep. And they fall out. Yep. They fall out. Mm -hmm. And they didn't count the cap. Right. Cost, sure did. Right. Right. You didn't. You didn't root yourself in. True. Right. Right. Then also, you didn't give everything up. Right. That was because Christ it. said you have to give everything up if you want to be His disciple. That's right. Right. And what He said. You can't hold on to the world. True. And be his disciple. Right. Right? Yeah. So you gotta count up the cost. True. Right? Yep. Even if you even if you do go back, everything you know is gonna be destroyed. Oh yeah. It will be destroyed. Remember what Christ said. Also he quoted Christ also said, Yeah. Remember Lot's wife. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he did say that. She turned her head back and looked yep. back. And that she turned to a pit of salt. True. Right? Yeah. So you have to count up the cost, right? Yeah, sure do. Many times we get caught up in this world mm -hmm. and we want the things of, these, of mm -hmm. this world, right? Yep, that's right. And then we lose sight of Christ, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So did we go to uh, Luke 14, 27 yet? Uh, no, we just, remember we go to bed up? Yeah, go up. Okay. Luke 14, 27. Luke chapter 14, verse 27. Whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Wow, that's a lot in that. Yeah, it is. Because there's a lot of people that, you know, I hate to say it, I'm not, I'm not judging nobody, but this is the truth. There's a lot of people claim to be the, be the Lord's disciple. Yeah, they do. They do right? That, yeah. And they may look good, right? Yeah, they may look good. Because they can quote them scriptures. Mm -hmm. They can break them precepts down. But there's a problem. <laughs> right? But guess what? A yeah. real, the real test is going to come. That's right. Right? Yeah. Because uh, the Lord is going to bring some tests oh, yeah. that the test to see if you're really in there That's for right. Him. Yes, right? He yes, He is. No doubt. Because you can look good. Yep. You got your free, you got your friends in there. Oh, yeah. You breaking them precepts. Oh, now. yeah. People ask you questions. You yeah. know how to answer those questions. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. You <laughs> know, he's like, I mean, he's deep. Yep. You know somebody, you know how, how people say somebody, you say he's deep. Yeah, he's deep. <laughs> but wait until that trial and test come. Exactly. Right? Yep. It's coming. Because the Lord's going to test you. Got gotcha. you. Right? Yep. And so the thing is, that's why you got to root yourself in. Sure do. To be rooted in this thing. Yes. That you focus. Yes. Because when the trial and test come, mm -hmm. it may knock you out. That's right. Right? Yep. Right? It will knock him out. Yep. And some people might go back to what it used to be. True. Right? Yep. Because it couldn't handle it. True. Yep. Right? Yeah, it can't handle the heat. No. So I even have that verse. I think it's in verse when it speaks about Lot's wife. Uh, it's in Luke 14, I think 32 and 33. Is it? Is it? Uh, no. No. Not, not this one. Is that one? No. Wait a minute. Well, let's go back to uh, Hebrews 11. Okay. And the verse that we had. Okay. Well, it speaks about uh, by faith Moses refused to be called, and then uh, 
by him uh, choosing to be, what's called it, with the people of God. Okay, uh, 23. Yeah. Which verse to start at? Is it 23? You want to start at 23? Yeah. All right. And continue where? Let's we'll see. Is it 23 and uh, 24? 23 to uh, 24 or 25? Yeah, 25. Okay. Hebrew chapter 11, verse 23. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because he's they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king commandments. 24. By faith, Moses, when he was come to year, refused to be called the sons of the Pharaoh's daughter. 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of Elohim than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. See, and then I, uh, the Lord put on me to go to, let's go uh, to Exodus, I believe it's three. When the most, when the Lord called Moses. Oh, okay. When he said to tell him to take thy shoes off thy mm -hmm. feet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go, you're going to start at four and work my way down? Yeah. All right. Chapter three, verse four. And how far, how far down? Five would be good right, right. there. Five. Okay. Because then I'm going to go from, I want to go from five to uh, Ecclesiastes five. Five Ecclesiastes. The first verse. What it says that uh, take uh, about your feet uh -huh. when you come in, don't don't give sacrifice of fools. Oh, okay. So Exodus three, six. Oh, Exodus from four to all the six. Way to, yeah. Okay. Uh, huh? All the way to five by five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody's ready. Okay, Exodus chapter 3, verse 4. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, as he saw, as he called unto him out of the midst of the bush, and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, and he said, here am I, 5. And he said, draw not, draw not hither, put off thy shoe off thy feet, for the place there were on. Thou standest is holy ground. See right there. And then also before I break into what I'm going to say, go to Ecclesiastes 5, the regular Ecclesiastes, not Sirach, not Sirach. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes 5, verse 4. So 5 and 1, I believe it's 5 and 1. 5 and 1, yeah. Yeah, that goes to what, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, with, with that, that's uh, four, uh, three, four, and five. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes chapter five, verse one. Keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of Elohim, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of poor, for they consider not that they do evil. See? So when the Lord was telling Moses to remove his shoes off, the meaning remove the doctrine. Off, right. Because he was learnt in the ways of Egypt. True. Speech. And we can go to show you. And so uh, just like a lot of our people that come into this truth, mm -hmm. You got to remove yourself from uh, anything you learned. Yeah. Especially why Moses, when he came before the Most High. Yeah. He had to be totally empty. True. And I remember that goes with that one movie I saw with uh, Jackie Chan. Yes. And I think uh, Jet Li was in that movie. Uh -huh. And this, his, uh, this young boy yeah. wanted to learn Kung Fu from Jackie Chan. Uh-huh. And he was telling Jackie Chan, I know this move, I know that move. And this is what Jackie Chan told him. He said... 
You say, you got to empty your cup first. <laughs> you say, I can't teach you nothing. And you you got to empty your cup. Empty your cup. Right? Because yeah. he said, your, you too, your cup is full. Okay. Right? Yeah. So you got to empty yourself, right? Yeah. So a lot of our people that, because some of our people may come in there like they know everything. Yeah. Yeah. You got that right. Like, that. oh, I know that. I yep. know this. Sure do. You know, yeah. you got to, the Lord said, humble yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so you got to humble yourself before him. Right. Right? Yeah. And then he can teach you. Yeah. So just like Moses, it's a scripture in uh, uh, in Acts that I'll tell you about. Moses was learned in the ways of the Egyptians. Sure was. And so that's when, you know, a lot of pastors I heard in church, they said that uh, Moses stuttered. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He did not know the Hebrew language now. Sure, that's right. All that is wrong, what you've been teaching in church now. You're right. Wow. He did not know the Hebrew language. He didn't stutter. He didn't, that's, that's talking about the language. Yes. Cause, yeah, this right here is in because it gives you in uh, Acts seven twenty two. It tell you right here. Yep. Acts seven twenty two. That's why the that's why uh, the Lord sent Aaron. Uh, yeah. Because Aaron knew the language. Right. The language of the Hebrew. Yes, he does. Now, so all the Christian church that can teach that wrong. You sure did. And saying he stuttered. No, he didn't. And Moses stuttered. No, he didn't. He didn't know the language of the Hebrew. Exactly. Now. Because he was raised yeah, up right. in Egypt. Yes. And he was learned in the way of Egypt. We show you right here. So it's in uh, yeah. Acts 7 yeah. and 22. Here it goes. Acts 7, chapter 20, I mean, verse 22. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of Egyptian and was mighty in words and in deeds. See? Yep. So he knew. He, he was knew. raised up in the, and he knew. He yeah. was wise. Yeah. He, he, he can speak that Yes, word, he can. But he didn't, he couldn't he didn't speak know he, Hebrew. Right. Hebrew. Sure can. So I heard that for a long time. And yeah. the pastor say he stuttered. He stuttered. Oh, like, no, he didn't. Yeah, no, he didn't. Right. That was wrong, y'all. Sure was wrong. <laughs> and Man. so I learned a lot as I came into this truth. Yes. To see that a lot of things are off. Yeah, way off. Right? Yeah. So that right there. So you see, that's why the Most High also told him, because we go back, go back to Exodus, uh -huh. as we see why the Most High told him to take his shoes off also. Because okay, also it's to be moving the doctrine. Right. So that you can, he be humbled, mm -hmm. the Most High teach him. Right? That's true. Same chapter and same verse? Yeah, that's in three, yeah. Okay. Uh, Exodus chapter three, verse four. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, Elohim called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. Five. And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoe off thy feet. For the place whereon Thou standing is holy ground. See, holy ground. Yeah. So we broke it down. Uh, you're removing those the doctrine of whatever Egypt. Yeah. And so the Lord can teach you, because He was getting ready to bring yeah. them to deliver the children of Israel. True. Right. Yes. So we broke down this. So let's go to Psalms 137 and three. Because remember what we said. The, uh, don't enjoy the presence of sin, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Turn away from it. Come to the Most High, do that, uh, and, and you know, cause everything is gonna be destroyed, right? Yeah. Like Moses. Yeah. Moses refused to be called the the, the, the you know the yeah. son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing to, to suffer affliction with the people of God, right? Yeah. Oh, is it Psalm 127? 137. Oh, I'm sorry. 137 verse 3. Alright. Because this right here show you that our enemies wanted wanted us to sing a song. Oh, it sure did. And, and mirth. What is mirth? It goes into laughter yeah. and all that, right? Yeah. It's like 137? It's, no, it's 137. 137. And verse 3. Okay. 
Psalm 127, verse 3. For there are they that carry us a waiting captive, require us a song. Uh, 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 so, yeah. And that they waste us, require us mirth, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. So, you know, mirth goes into laughter. Yeah, laughter. That's pretty much like we got a lot of black comedians. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, uh, just like this song you can see in the scripture that Israel is busy entertaining their enemies. Yeah, we are. It still is. We entertain them in sports. Yep. We entertain them in being uh, in entertainment. Yep. Because entertainment goes into movies and yep. all that. Uh, yep. You know. Yep. And so we are too busy. Yep. Entertaining our enemies. Sure is. And rather being ready, getting ready for the for the Most High. I right. Think, and so right. when you're busy entertaining your enemies, you are caught up in the sins of the of the king of yep. this world. That's right. Yes. It I know that. I know a lot of people ain't gonna like what I'm saying. No, but but, uh, yeah, but that's what it is. But that's what it is. Yep. But I have a feeling this is what God had me speak. Yeah. It's for those the the elect ones. Yeah, that's what it is. Because this is not for everybody. Right. Because a lot, lot of people won't be able to leave the world because they love the world too much. Sure do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you love the world, I have news for you. If you love the world so much, you can't be in this. That's right. You can't be the Lord's disciple. That's right. Because he said you got to hate your life first. That's right. Before you can serve him. True. Because he said he that loves his life will lose it. That's right. Right? Yep. So you can't come in this and get in this, this truth. Right. If you love your life. That's right. Because those who love your life, that means you love everything about this world. That's right. You love America. And that's bad. You love everything and you can't let go of everything. True. You got a problem with letting go of all that. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And so, what did Christ say about that? He said, he that loves his life should lose it. That's right. So that means every day on this earth, you're going to lose. That's right. And so you may get mad, but guess what? Uh, is everybody here for forever? No. No. Everybody here for just a, a little time. That's right. Then it's over. That's right. Right? Yep. And so we got uh, Ecclesiastes 7, chapter 7, that goes into uh, the songs of foolishness and uh, what you call it, you know? Yeah, let's go, let's start uh, with what's called it, uh, let's go with two. Two, okay. And go all the way down to uh, what's called it, uh, six. All right. So y'all know uh, regularly in Ecclesiastes, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, so seven, chapter, chapter seven. Yeah, two, chapter seven. Okay, seven. And go all the way with all right. six. All of those verses. Right. This is some deep stuff here. I'm hearing it in my spirit. As I'm hearing it, I, uh, I'm hearing it loud. He said, this is what I'm hearing loud in my spirit. He said, a lot of people are caught up in the songs of foolishness. <laughs> That's what I mean. The Lord is <laughs> Foolishness. <laughs> oh, well, that's got to be bad. Real bad. Okay. Oh. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men and living will lay it to his heart. 3. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the continent, and the heart is made better. For the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fool is in the house of mirth. Five, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the songs of fools. Six, for as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of fool is always... You know, this always is vanity. See? 
Because you go, it's a lot in this verse. It sure is. Because you, you can start off with two. It is better to go to the house of mourning. The house of mourning is the house of the of the wise. Yeah. That's where we get in this wisdom. Yes. The wisdom, that's what that's going into. Yeah, okay. You know, because the, the children of Israel is the house of mourning. Wow. Because we are in mourning because we in captivity. Yeah, we are. Right? Yep. So right there, and so he said, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For then it is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. You go to free sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Mm -hmm. So do uh, captivity and yeah. all the stuff that we went through. Yeah. It makes sure. your heart better. Yep. Because when you remember, because the Most High said, remember your captivity. Yeah. Then you remember, then you will change what you're doing. Right. Right? Yeah. Because you say, oh, my Lord, my sins, I got to change what I'm doing. Yeah. And, 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 and get that correctly so I don't keep going through the same thing. Right. Right? Yeah. So right here, in four, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. See? Yeah. House of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. What is mirth? All that joking After and laughing. Joking. <laughs> Foolishness. Yeah. yeah. And some of the foolishness back that thing up and all that. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, people yeah. want to get all, you know, yeah. caught up in those things. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Caught up in foolishness. That's what it is. Right? Yep. So that right here, singing the songs of fools. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The songs of fools, if you're not in this in this word, you're not in here trying to keep the commandments, you are going with the songs of fools. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes. Folly. Folly. Yeah. Caught up in folly. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Cause we can show you that too. Is uh, that's in chapter ten, right? Uh, yeah. And the ten and Ecclesiastes. Uh, ten six. Yep. That's uh, yeah. Yeah. Ten <laughs> six. Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Let me get this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So all this uh, rioting, rioting, and uh, and probably partying and backing and things up and all that <laughs> folly. Folly. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me get to Christians chapter ten, verse six. Folly is a set in great dignity, and the riches sit in low place. Wow. wow. So I remember I looked that up before. Yeah. Great dignity. Yeah. Great honor. Great honor. Because the way this kingdom is set up. Yeah. They honor those things. They sure do. We pretty much. What do they honor? They honor sin. That's right. They honor sin. Sin. Yep. These people, they glorify sin. Oh, yeah, they glorify They glorify women in short dresses. Oh, and, yeah. And, and, and showing themselves oh, all yeah. They, they glorify they glorify all that. that. They glorify you being a whore. Oh, yeah. They glorify all that. Yeah. You know? They sure do. That's sin. Sure is. All this sinful kingdom. Yeah. You know, wicked kingdom. Yep, sure is. Right? Yep. And so I know y'all don't like what I'm saying. And I know a lot of people will get offended. Yep. You know? Truth is the truth. But the truth is the truth. Yep. You're right. Yep. If you can't handle the truth, mm -hmm. you know, I say it's no hope for you. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Because we need to repent yep. and come out of whoredom. That's right. Because a lot of y'all are lost in whoredom. That's right. You know? Yep. yep. You may you may say you're not, yeah. but some of us are lost secretly in the whoredom. That's whoredom. right. That's you may right. be doing things, you might be, That's right. You may look like you're innocent. That's right. But, but secretly, secretly yep. you are lost in whoredom. That's right. Yep. Right? Yeah. Yep. Watching whores mm -hmm. at night. That's right. You do some things you shouldn't be doing. Doing yeah. things that you ain't doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You know? That's yeah, right. Give and so control. some of us, we know that we have been, we've been guilty for this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's in both. And we had to repent. That's right. We had to repent and come out of that. That's right. That's that's right. That's 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 right. That's Praise the Lord. Because it's so easy to get caught up in it. True. Yeah. Because yeah. everywhere you turn, you see whoredom everywhere. Oh, yeah. Right? Everywhere. Boom. You see it everywhere. You see the billboards. You may be driving down the street. You <laughs> there, see there the billboard of a naked woman. That's right. Right? That's right. It's there. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Boom. Oh, Boom. Lord have mercy. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And so you're trying your best to come out of that. Yep. You know? True. But with the Lord's help, we can come out of that. Thank the Lord. You know? Yeah. And Thank so not just a man, the woman. Yeah, women get the same problem. Yeah. Yep. Lost in the whoredom. We're getting caught up in the whoredom. True. You know? That's right. 
And if we don't repent, we can want, we gonna burn for all that's right. Yeah. You know, that's right. you know you don't want to burn. No, right? Yeah. Cause when them news set off. Yeah. You know. Yep. Cause uh, cause you want the Lord to pick you up. Yeah. Right. That's right. Repent. Yes. Right. Yes. So right there. So folly is set in great dignity, and rich and the rich sit in low place. That's talking about the, the children of Israel. That's right. Right. Yeah. Cause they're in a low place now. Sure is. Right? Yep. Being in captivity is a low place. Sure is. Right? Yeah. Because we can show you that. Uh, go to uh, Isaiah 5, 13. Isaiah 5, 13. Isaiah 5, 13. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. See? So not having no knowledge means you don't have the knowledge of the, of the most high law. True. And you became low. Right. Because captivity is low. That's right. Because you get taken out of your out of your kingdom, mm -hmm. brought low, right? That's right. Because also we can oh yeah. This is coming to me. Lamentations, I think it's Lamentations 2. Lamentations 2. Because it would say when we got uh, cast down, right? Because mm -hmm. that's good to say you got cast down, right? Yes, we did. Mainly we got taken out of, out of our land. Sure did. And put into captivity. That's yep. what that's talking about. It's not talking about you got cast out of heaven. No. Because some people might think, brought down, boom, you cast out of heaven. Yeah. No, no. That means that you got taken out of rulership, sure out of your land, and put into captivity. That's right. So that's that first verse. And Lamentations 2, 2, 2, 1. Lamentations 2, Lamentations 2, 1? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody got it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it 2-1? Yeah, 2-1. Okay. Lamentation, chapter 2, verse 1. How have the Lord covered the uh, dog of Zion with a cloud in his anger, and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel, and remember not his footstool in the day of his anger? See, what it's talking about us getting cast out of heaven. Yeah. And meaning that we got taken out of our land. Sure did. And put into captivity. Because yeah. we, we'll we show you again. Put it back with uh, uh, put it back with Isaiah. We said Isaiah 5, right? Yeah. Put it again with 5 and 13. Okay, go back to 5 and 13. Right yeah. There. Okay. chapter 5 verse 13 therefore my people are going into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst so he went there to show you that we were brought a low place sure did and that also ties into Ecclesiastes 10 6 where it said dignity is set and high dignity you know yeah dignity yeah and the uh, poor you know they sit in a low place yeah no place. And what is a low place? Captivity. Captivity. Right? True. 
So that's talking about Israel, right? Yes, yes. And if we need, if you need more to know about the poor, we give you a what's called it Isaiah fourteen thirty two, right? Okay. Isaiah fourteen thirty two. So that tell you about the poor, who the poor is. Yep. Oh yeah. So Isaiah fourteen thirty two. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter fourteen verse four, uh, thirty two. What shall one then answer the messenger of the nation? that the Lord has found Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it. See, the poor of his people, Israel, shall trust in it, that's the word. Yeah. Trust in the Most High's word, yes. right? Yeah. Because we know that he has given us so much to tell us, told us about he's going to bring us out of camp. Right. That he's going to bring us back into the land. Yeah. Sure right? Did. Yeah. So we have the, the trust in that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the poor of the people, that's Israel, because you have been stripped down sure was. from your kingdom. Yes. Stripped down from your language, from your land, yep. stripped down from everything. Yeah, every time. Right? Yep. And so that's why we know also that that also ties into Matthew uh, 5, right? The poor in spirit. Oh, yeah. So we, Matthew 5, the poor in the spirit. Oh yeah, five, five, three. Yeah, the poor in spirit. So the poor in spirit is Israel. Yeah. Because you stripped down for everything, you stripped down for your yeah, land. Sure did. Yeah. And your land. Yeah. So that's why you poor in spirit. Is this good? Yes. I didn't know I was going to go there, but it's how the, how the Spirit leads you. How's it going? Yeah. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven, see? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I think this is good. Mm -hmm. Go to... Uh, I think it's Matthew, I'm not Matthew, but Revelations 14, 12. And I'm seeing something. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'll show you. Let's go there for first. Revelations 14, 12. All right. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Elohim and the faith of Ahutra. See, this is the patience of the saints, and so patience means you're waiting, right? Yeah. So, I'm seeing this. Now go to Revelation 11. And... Verse 12. 11, 12? Yeah. Because pretty much when you're keeping the commandments, you're waiting for this. Ah, uh, yeah. You're waiting for this. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Revelation chapter 11, verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in the cloud, and their enemies beheld them. So... I'm see. I never seen this verse. I go with that like that, but when you're keeping the commandments, the Most High is showing me you're waiting for this. Oh, yeah. You're waiting for the church to take you out. Yep. yep. When you keep the commandments. That's right. Because when you keep the commandments, yep. read it again. When he goes, when you keep the commandments, the voice is gonna call out and say, "Come up." Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Revelation chapter eleven, verse twelve. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them. 
come up hither, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. See? Yeah. Well, you keep the commandments? Yeah. That's pretty much what we're waiting for. That's right. That voice. We're yeah. waiting for that voice. Yeah. We're waiting for the charge. That's right. To take you home. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because wow. isn't, that, isn't that your home? No, man. It's not, it's not home. Right? right? Period. Yeah. But we can't get caught up in the sins of this kingdom. Right. And uh, a lot of our people are getting caught up in the sins of this kingdom. Yeah. Because uh, say this. This is another sin of the kingdom getting caught up in. The American dream. Yeah, the American dream. Getting caught up in that? Yeah, it's bad. Because you want you want the riches, you want fame, mm -hmm. and you, you're fighting for that. Yeah, they are. And you you're doing everything you can to get to get that dream. Yeah. So you caught up in the sins of this kingdom. It sure is. Right? And that that and dream's about to burst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the Lord, he don't want us to get caught up in fighting yeah, for that. the for American dream. Yeah, that he wants us to fight for the kingdom. True. That we get caught up for the kingdom, because anyway, this thing about to it's about to end. Oh yeah, it's about to end. Right? Yeah. So just like you said, it's just for a season. That's all it is. All this for a season. All it is. But if our people can just see that though, yeah, if they can see that it's just a season, and guess what? A season, a season is very short. Sure is. Because I look at all these seasons, like you say, uh, summer. Yep. Spring. Yep. Well, I know spring comes before summer. Yep. And so all these winter, yep, uh, fall, yep, they don't last long. No, they sure don't. Some of them, I think, is like a couple months, right? Yeah, it sure is. All of them did a couple months. <laughs> and then it's then it's over, right? Yep. So the season is not long. No, it's not long at all. So that means, and uh, then y'all notice how it seemed like uh, I don't know what's going on, but it seemed like the days are speeding more fast. Oh, it we really booking. Because you you see how fast these these Sabbaths came. Sure is. All that. Yeah, it's really booking. You know? Yeah. Right over there. Yeah, it's coming very fast. Very fast. And the Lord's it's like he's speeding time up. Sure is. Right? Yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. I have some more. Uh, and I know that uh, we covered this before, but it's going to increase access 7 and 5. Regular Ecclesiastes? Yeah, the regular Ecclesiastes. Five, then I got the precept that goes with that. Okay. It's uh, Psalms 141 and 5. So uh, Ecclesiastes 7, 5. And five okay. Then Psalms 141 and 5. Cause this right here will tell you it's better to hear the rebuke of the the the, yes, the righteous, the wise, yes. the wise yes. than than to hear the songs of fools. Yeah. All the foolishness that's going on around the people. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse five. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the songs of fools. See? And then sometimes when the Lord is saying about song, really is, sometimes literally it's not really a song, right. but you know, it's what people are doing. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. know, that's a song. Yeah, that's a song. All this sin that they're doing. Oh yeah. Foolishness. Number mm -hmm. foolishness. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Psalms 140, mm -hmm. 1 and 5. Forty one forty one five. Okay. Yeah, there. Psalm 141.5, 
Psalm 141, verse 5. Let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness, and let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil, which shall not break my head. For yet my prayer shall also shall be in their calamities. See? So when the righteous correct you or rebuke you, it's oil there. Yeah. So you, But if you don't receive that, you're not receiving the oil. That's right. But if you do receive the correction that we bring, because many times we're going to bring correction with Scripture. Right. We're not going to just say something without Scripture. True. Right? Yeah. So we show you where you off at and where you went off at. <laughs> yeah. So through the Scriptures, so if you receive that, it's oil there. Then you receive that oil. True. Then, you know, then you, then you will grow, right? Yeah. Right? True. And so when you talk about commodities, I believe that's when sometimes we get hit with stuff. For well, that calamity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what that's talking about, right? Yeah. So you go to Proverbs 21 and 20, as it, it also ties into that. Proverbs 21-20? Yeah, Chapter 21, verse 20. There is treasure to be desired, and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spinning it up. See? Foolish man spinning it up. That's pretty much like what God was telling Ezekiel. Yeah. That the people come and sit before him. Oh, yeah. But they don't listen. He said, you like a song, right? Yep. And I believe that's in 31, ain't it? 31, uh, uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 31. Ezekiel. And so the Lord said that he's, you know, he's like an instrument, right? Mm -hmm. Like a lovely song played before them. 
Because he said that his people, they sit before him, but yeah. they would not do his words. Right. Right? I forgot what chapter it is. Because I thought it was 31, but it's not 31. Uh, uh, Which one um, is it? Some that deal with inquire. Inquire. Or does it, it, it mean something? That, something about uh, Israel went to Ezekiel. Yeah, the Ezekiel. And, and, and they sat down. Yeah, they sat down. Yeah, yeah. before. Them. Well, it's um, is in uh, Ezekiel twenty. In Ezekiel twenty. I think Ezekiel chapter twenty, uh, verse thirty. And then there's another one in verse, uh, yeah, because there's one in God's, there's another one in, uh, 31, 31, yeah, because I love the one to listen to all, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sit down and, Okay, um, Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 1, and it go down to 3, I think, or 4. Yeah. Because they sat down before um, Ezekiel and, and try to inquire about the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one because it go from yeah. chapter, uh, verse 1 to all down to 4. And there's one that God has told Ezekiel that he's a Lovely instrument. Oh, oh, yeah. Before, one. and he's like, he plays like a, you know, right. plays like a loving instrument. Yeah. I to, about to the people. Yeah. But the people, they would sit, they would not lit, they would not do any of his words. True. Oh, I, know what you're I about. forgot what chapter oh, it is. I can't seem to find it. Uh, okay. Right. Like, like a God, no, I can't music. find it in this new Bible. <laughs> uh, been here. Uh. Okay. I don't know how this is going to happen. Uh, he says a door getting made to open up. I can't see the front. Excuse me, I can find it. 
Probably be the instrument. Oh yeah, it's in 30, 33. 33? Yeah. Uh, 33. Ezekiel 33. And verse 31, oh, oh, way 32. Down. Okay, way down. Oh, I way see down. it. Way down, it's way down. Yeah, I see it. Ezekiel and 33. Start, what, start? 31, 32. 31, okay. Chapter 33, verse 31. And they came unto thee as a people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and hear, they hear thy word, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goes after their covetousness. 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a lowly, very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument, for they hear thy word, but they do but they do them not. See? And that also goes into what we was bringing off about the, uh, you know, correction. Yeah. The righteous. Yeah. So if you, so we, I'm going to be giving out a lot of correction or bringing out, just like Ezekiel was. Yeah, he was. And a, a lot of people are not paying attention. It sure is. Right? Right. And so they, so that's a waste of oil right there. Yeah, right there. It's not me wasting the oil, or it's not Ezekiel wasting the oil. No. It's our people, our people. Yeah. wasting the oil because they are not taking heed sure not. to the words of the Most High. True. Right? Yeah. So that goes with what we quoted out of uh, Proverbs 21 and 20. Yep. Right? Yeah. And so I hate to say it, some of our people say like they love the songs of fools they do. more. They do. Right? Yep. And fool, and, and it don't literally mean a song. Is what you are tied into doing. Yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, what they're doing. What you're doing. <laughs> yeah, what they're doing. Right? Yeah, it's not good. That's what, yeah, what they're doing. And so we have to come back to the Most High. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you can get the scripture like uh, Job 33, 33, Job 33, 33, when he said, if not here, then. Job, Job 33, Job, J-O-B. Yeah, J-O-B. Job 33, verse what? 33. Oh, 33, 33. Yeah. Okay. Job 33, 33. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, people want to hear this. Because this scripture right here tell you, pay attention. Yeah, pay attention. Right? Yep. Oh my Lord, the Lord bringing me some more. Let me see. That, uh, that goes with this. Yeah. 
See this? Yeah, we go ahead. I give, right. you, I give you what else right. he gave to me on that. Job 33, verse 33. If not, hearken unto me. Hold thy peace, and I shall teach thee wisdom. See? Now go to Hebrews 2 and verse 1. Two verse one, Hebrews two verse one. You see how this goes together? Yeah. Hebrews two verse one, two verse one. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest any time we should let them slip. See, the scripture right here, he said, pay attention, give the most honest heed yeah. to the things you hear and taught. Mm -hmm. they should, at least they slip away. Yep. Right? Yep. That's why uh, you hear other other Israelite teachers, right, say, get your notebooks, get your pens. Right. Yeah. So that you can remember everything. Yeah. Because they'll slip away. Yeah, it will. Because why did he put it there? Why did yeah. he put it in the scripture? True. Right? Yeah. And so, just like we brought it out, so our people may not be listening or paying attention, just like they did with Ezekiel. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. But you got to pay attention. Yeah, they need to pay attention. Right? Yep. Yeah. And so, that right there, oh yeah, I also had, uh, mm -hmm. What's called it? Uh, I had some scriptures in Proverbs. Okay. Proverbs 15, 21. 15, 21. Yeah, I have I had written these down. Okay. Proverbs fifteen twenty one. All right. So that this right here goes back to folly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Quiet over there. So uh, Proverbs fifteen twenty one and Proverbs and Proverbs fifteen eighteen. Another one fifteen fifteen eighteen. Yeah, fifteen oh, eighteen. You want to go with that, or you want to go with the next one? And we can start with 18, right? Yeah. And then, and go, then to go to 21. 21. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 18. A wrathful man stirs up strife, but he that is slow of anger appease strife. Wait a minute. Is that the right one? Right. So, Oh, I had the wrong chapter, but I had the right verse. Right verse, wrong chapter. Yeah, wrong chapter. It's 14. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 18. 14, 18. And that one is 1521, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah.
Uh, the wrong, the wrong uh, chapter. That's fourteen. Okay. Uh, Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse eighteen. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Wow. So you said the simple inherit folly. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. But the prudent, prudent are crowned with knowledge. Yeah. Now our next one. Next one is uh, fifteen twenty. Yeah. I mean fifteen twenty one. Yeah. 1521. 15, 15, oh, it's 15. Okay. Uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 21. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walk uprightly. Wow. So you know what destitute of wisdom is? Yeah. That means you don't have none. Oh, yeah. So you, so folly. Yeah. <laughs> it's joy to you when you don't have no wisdom. Wow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So all that folly out yeah. there is joy to you. Yeah, but no no wisdom. Oh, Lord. Right? Mm -mm -mm. So that's to the wisdom. Yep. Yeah. That being dumb out there. Yeah. Because <laughs> people who have wisdom ain't going to be doing that. No, that's right. They ain't going to be doing that. True. Right? Right. <laughs> wow. yeah. oh, boy, so a lot of our people, I hate to say it, they're caught up in folly. It sure is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sure is. They caught in folly. Yeah. Yep. It's like the rest of the world is. Yep. Sure is. The world is caught up in folly. It sure is. <laughs> right. It sure is. <laughs> like they love it. Oh yeah. yeah. Like they love it. Yeah. yeah. We know what folly is. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. No more foolishness. <laughs> That's bad. That's the name you hear that. Yeah. Now, but foolishness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's terrible. So the Lord, His Bible, His Word, yeah, is a lot of wisdom. It sure is. Wow. Wisdom. Yeah. yeah. Wisdom and knowledge. So we want to come out of folly. Yeah, come out of that folly. Folly. All that. <laughs> all that foolishness. <laughs> foolishness. And foolishness. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I think I'm done here. Okay. So if you're caught up in folly, if you're hearing this, you yeah. can't come up out of all that. That's bad. Right? Yep. Repent. Repent. Yeah. Y'all ready? Yes. I'm going to close out. So Father, we thank you for this truth. And Lord, we thank you for more that you're revealing to us. And Lord, as we go from here. We ask you that you just bless the food that's hands are prepared and bless the fellowship. Shalom. Shalom.